guys, welcome to Sine in PR. Welcome to another episode. So much to do today. I've brought myself some tea because we are going to be doing some real work today. So a question that I received after posting the first episode is how do you put together a public relations plan? Wow, if you guys have ever heard of the seven steps, you know we're going to be doing some real work today. So let's get into it. Before we get into how to putting together a public relations strategy, I think it's important for us to talk about why you need one. So you may need a PR plan for a campaign, for a year even, um, if you are planning ahead for your brand, or for something as simple as putting together a small project. It really helps you to put together the blueprint of what you're going to do, how you're going to go about it, how much money you're going to need, and most importantly, how you're going to evaluate yourself at the end of the project. So I'm going to take you through some steps of how to put together the PR plan and just some little secrets and tips of how I work through mine. I know that in college or university, they normally take you through the seven steps of a PR plan. I've got an additional step to mine, but it doesn't mean that yours is wrong. So we'll just work through it and hopefully it will make understanding the seven steps of a PR plan easier for you. Let's get into step one. Step one for me is a situational analysis. For you, it may be called a SWOT analysis. And really what it means, it means doing research, figuring out as much as you can about the product, about the service, about the company, about the project. So you need to know what the strengths are, what the weaknesses are, what the opportunities are. If you don't do the research beforehand, you'll really struggle to put together a plan. Say for example, you're working on a PR plan to launch a new vehicle, a new Mercedes-Benz vehicle. So it's important for you to know what the features are of the vehicle, when exactly it's going to be launched, what are the best features of that vehicle? Why should people buy it? What colors is it available in? What is the fuel consumption? You need to know as much as you can. Um, and while you're doing this research, you also need to understand your market or the market that the vehicle is going to be launched in. So that forms a part of your research and that forms a part of your step one, which really is the foundation of your PR plan. Step two for me is always setting the overarching goal of the strategy or of the PR plan or of the project that I'm working on. So, for example, your overarching goal could be that you want to educate. You want to educate people or you want to create awareness. So set yourself one big goal. Why are you doing this? Why are you putting together this plan? This will really help you with the steps that are coming up ahead. Step number three is identifying your target audience. So you need to know who your PR efforts are going to be aimed at. And for me, one very important thing to always remember is make sure that you include internal staff. So if you're putting together a PR plan for a large corporation, or for a company that manufactures a product or a vehicle, you need to make sure that you include the internal staff members, the directors, the people that are in production, frontline staff, because imagine how horrible it would be for big billboards and radio messaging to go out and the people that work inside the, the company or the corporation don't actually know what's going on. So for me, internal staff is always at the top of the list and then I make my way down. I try not to complicate it. I add at least three or four target um, audiences that I want to work with. And of course, because we are in PR, 
um, media is always going to be there and we can break it down even further into you know owned media or earned media but you guys know what i'm talking about so try to make sure that your target audience list is not too long because you do know that when you get to your tactics you're going to maybe put together a tactic or think up a tactic to reach each target audience Number four is creating your key messages this is probably one of my favorite parts next to coming up with tactics but this is because all the research that you've done in the beginning comes into play here so you need key messages because you need to identify what it is that your target audience needs to know what are the most important facts is it when the company was launched is it why is the company is doing this is it how this is going to change people's lives those are your key messages sometimes when you're working on a campaign you end up just having one key message and that's good enough or if you've got a lot of facts and a lot of knowledge to share you end up with between two and four key messages um, i'm a bit of an overachiever so i always end up with at least four key messages and they really do help when you're putting together your press release or if you end up extending yourself to the social media team and you need to share some facts with them which they could use while building their content Tip number five is identifying your objectives this should be easy enough once you've done your research identified who your key audience is and also identified the key messages so the easiest way to put your objectives together is to use smarty I know that you guys have used Smarty um, before, so make sure that you use Smarty with your objectives because they need to be measurable. You know, they need to be specific. They need um, to be timeless as well. So when you do set your objectives, make sure that you know who each uh, objective is targeted at, how you're going to go about doing it, and when you're going to go about doing it. So that is important. Also. Sometimes um, to make it easier for yourself, you can link your objectives to your key audience. So if you have identified internal staff, media, external stakeholders, try to link objectives to each of them. It just makes it easier for you. That's how we normally do it at NPR. And that's how I've done it for the longest time as well. Step six is tactics and others like to call it concepts so for me this is probably the most innovative part this is where you really get to come up with some great ideas um, that you can link to your target audience and link to your objectives so pr tactics you know the list keeps growing it could be a media release it could be an event it could be an exhibition it could be the sponsorship of a campaign or a team or something like that there are so many different tactics that you can use to reach your goal, to reach your objective. And like I said before, and even in the first video, you know, one of the things that really excites me about public relations is the ability or the opportunity to be as innovative as you possibly can. So use the tactic phase to wow your client, um, to wow your boss, to wow your manager. This is the chance for you to come up with brilliant ideas how are you going to create awareness how are you going to educate how are you going to excite so once you've come up with your tactics you have the very very important task of working out what your budget is and you would have asked your clients or your manager or your boss what the budget is but sometimes um, like in many cases you don't know what the budget is so you come up with big ideas or small ideas and at the end of the day the budget needs to be approved so coming up with your budget your budget should be linked to your tactics so if you've decided that you want to have an event or you want to sponsor or you want to have an exhibition each of those line items needs to have a cost associated with it help you put, to put together your budget 
And remember, you need a 10% contingency in case anything happens. So if you're working with a budget of 300,000 Rand, add in a buffer of 30,000 Rand in case you need it, in case something goes wrong. Maybe it rains and you need a marquee all of a sudden, or people drop out and you need to fly someone in quickly. So always give yourself a 10% buffer and explain to your clients or your boss or your manager that you have done this because it's very important to be transparent, especially when it comes to financial matters. I always get asked the question, how do you measure public relations? So it all depends on the tactic that you are using. If you've decided to write and publish a media release, then you might measure yourself by the number of times that it's been published, whether it's been published in publications that really suit your client or your brand and the value of that publicity that you've received. If you've decided to host an event, I usually like to survey people during the event and just get little recordings for myself. How did they enjoy the event? Um, what did they like the most about it? Would they come again if we had it next year. So those are the evaluation tools. If one of your tactics is going to be social media as well, are you going to measure engagement? Are you going to measure whether the client's page grows or doesn't grow? So you need to look at each tactic and each tactic then needs to be linked to how you are going to measure, how are you going to evaluate? And once again, you need to be transparent. So you need to let your client, boss or manager know that this is how I'm going to evaluate my efforts so that at the end of it all, once you've done all of this, you've executed your PR plan, you can sit down and measure yourself and then put together a report on your efforts. I have reached uh, the end of how to put together a public relations plan or a public relations strategy. And as I said to you guys, I have eight steps instead of seven. Um, just to run through them one more time, you need to do a situational analysis or a SWOT analysis. You need to set your overarching goal. You need to identify who your target audience is. Set your key messages. Write down what your objectives are. Remember to link them to your key audience. Decide on your tactics. Get creative. Have fun. And work on your budget. Link your budget to each tactic. And at the end of it all, make sure that you know how you're going to evaluate or measure all of your efforts. I am going to put a summary at the end of this step-by-step -step plan of how to put together a public relations plan. Remember that you are very welcome to, in the comments section, ask a question, ask anything that you'd like me to tackle in the next episode. Do subscribe, follow me on Instagram. And I look forward to chatting with you guys again soon. Bye.